Hi, welcome to Art Draw. Today we're gonna to draw the machinist from Fortnite Wrecked. Let's go in at the top and start drawing this. So let's go in at the top there. I'm just gonna do a little curve uh, just around there. That's the top of the hair. And a couple of bunches in the hair. So I'm just gonna do a couple of little, little bands and then we'll just have some hair like, like crazily popping out a little bit. A little bit sort of textured jaggedness sort of around there for the um, kind of like the ponytail. Hair kind of goes around like this as well, so we just put a, a few little lines in, like so. And then what we'll do is we'll do a little face plate. So I'm just going to do a curve around like that. Okay. Let's do another one just behind it. Okay. And then what I'll do is I'll just sort of join these two little lines up here, and then we'll just join these areas up around here that we just created. Okay. Now we've got that bit there. There's a a circular bit like a tube there I'm just gonna pop that in there then really this um, this kind of comes sort of out sort of down like that and then sort of kind of comes in a little bit and then comes down a bit further like the face plate so do that and then kind of just pops out a little bit more but there's kind of like some sort of piping so I'm just gonna do a couple of little black kind of bars just around there um, a couple of circles around that one and I think that too yeah, and then what I can do with that is that kind of just sort of pops it out. And then we can kind of just come around the bottom area like that, okay? There's a plate in the middle, so I'm just gonna do like a little border, sort of like a curved kind of rectangle, just around that area like that. Just bring it around. A little bit of piping either side, so I'm just gonna do like a little hint of that around it. Then there's some kind of like little bands that go up so it's like a few little bands there so I'm just gonna just do a little sort of curve little bits around there and kind of come up around there okay that's cool uh, then there's a little bit just a little bit more little piping just around that area there all right cool there's the head area sort of uh, just a little bit like hair just coming out here that's kind of quite dark as well so I'm just gonna Maybe just fill in those bits just around here because it's sort of like very black hair we've got there. So we can kind of just really put some kind of sh shading in around those points and then we can fill that in with sort of a darker colour later on. Okay, great. All right then. So just uh, the neck area is around here. So it kind of just curves around there where the neck is. And I just get a hint of the neck area there. Then there's a jacket which the collar kind of comes up and around here. So I'm just gonna sort of draw uh, like this collar area that kind of comes around it and sort of pipes around uh, that area there, kind of goes into that neck area and around like that. Then it kind of comes down where the coat goes. So I'm just gonna do a little line out and sort of down there. This one kind of comes in and down around there, okay. Uh, there's a little belt area here, so it's going to do like a little uh, rectangle there. Just join it up where the belt kind of comes around it. So I'm just going to join those points up there. Let's just continue that piping. So we just join that up there. And then we'll do the same for this area here as well, okay? There's a couple of bands in the middle there. So just going to do a couple of chunky bands just there. Maybe where that collar is as well. We'll just sort of draw around that. Okay, so where this coat comes out, uh, it's got short sleeves, so they kind of come off at the, the shoulder. So that kind of comes in there and then just sort of pops out uh, and around like that. Uh, so just a little, little bit of piping there. This bit here, kind of the same sort of thing. So it kind of comes around to about there and down. We'll just put a little bit of piping there. And a bit of piping across the two areas here as well. So just gonna let's just draw a line in either side there. Okay, nice bit of detail. Okay, this uh, under the shoulder, under the arm here, sorry. This then comes in so where the jacket comes in like that. And then this part of the jacket kind of sways out and then down in at the torso area there. And then we can just pop lines in where the, that belt area is. Uh, we can just go along here where the belt continues like a bit of a chunky area of the belt there. This bit we can fill in more like the central point, kind of like a little loop uh, buckle there, like 
that loop there. We can just bring that around there. Okay, cool. Next up, let's get these uh, legs in. So, uh, kind of start, let's put up a little point there. Okay, the outer leg is going to come down kind of this way. So, I'm just going to draw the inner part of the leg of the thigh there. This side on here, I'm just going to do a line in like that, sort of taper it in. And then on this side here, the, the jacket comes down a bit. So it comes down like that, and then like in, and then down again like that. And I'm just gonna just pop a little bit of piping around there for now. Maybe we'll just, we'll just bring that piping around like so at the moment, okay? Then this part of the leg will come down sort of like this. And then this inner part of the leg kind of comes up like that. Okay, this side of the leg on the knee, there's like a, a little sort of pad, so a little bit of armor protection. So I'm just going to draw that in, bit of a um, kind of like rectangle area there that comes around the other side. Just put a little bit of detail in so we can see what's going on. And then this side kind of just comes in and continues out where the leg will be. Same here, sort of the knee area is there, calf's there, just bring it in a bit there. And then this side we can do the same, so just one, two lines like that. Put a line across it either side and there's big chunky boots, okay? So those boots, they kind of taper down and in here. So this one's going to come down like that. This one's going to come down like that, okay? And then this kind of is facing this way, so just going to bring like the boot out and around like that, slightly tricky. Uh, and then just put a sole on it there. This one kind of comes out around here and then the toe's pointing this way, so around like that area and up like so. And then we can just put a little hint of uh, sole on there. Then we've got, I'm just gonna pop a line in there and then we're just gonna pop a line in around this area there. Let's go right the way around, a little bit there, a little bit there, and then we've got a load of little Kind of circular uh, buckles so lots of little kind of buckles and holes going on there so just gonna just draw a load in like that just around there and I think it is actually all laced up so I'm just gonna do some like little crisscrosses where those are just to show that there's like laces going on around here so that's all sort of tied up around there okay the knee area here kind of actually there goes up there and then it's sort of the outfit kind of goes up and around like that. Another little sort of cap, just that area there. Okay, cool. Now we've got that area in. Let's look at the shoulder here. So just pop a little kind of shoulder there, bring the arm out like that. This side comes in, the uh, forearm sort of creases there. And bring that sort of down, taper it in. And then a line there. Uh, bring that taper that in that's the glove area and then we'll just have a clenched like fist here so thumb there and then fingers around like this and then join it all up we just put a bit of piping on that just to add a bit of detail to our glove I think there's a little bit of maybe just a little bit of like detail there as well so we'll just pop, pop that in there um, there's a little bit of um, like decoration and pattern on the inner part of this area so just pop pop those bits in there and just a few little details just in there okay next up let's do this arm so this arm kind of comes out to here as an elbow so I'm just going to do a little point there and then we're going to go shoulders here just bring it out like that underneath sort of bicep area there comes in like this then we've got a circular area where the glove is sort of here kind of comes in like this and then we've got the hands sort of coming around sort of the uh, belt area around here so it's going to do some fingers there okay bring that in and then this area of the coat kind of sort of tapers out around this point and then there's like this um, sort of like this object got around the belt here so a little bit of piping there join that up there and a circle goes in here a circle there and then just a little, few little bits of 
bits and pieces in there, sort of make it look technical, so just a little bit of detail maybe, just around here. This underneath here, this coat, sort of comes around like this, sort of comes around there, then there's a little hint of it around here, so I'm just going to sort of draw a little hint of that going on there. Again, there's a little bit of detail on this jacket, so there's almost like a triangular area there, this sort of joins up here, sort of just a bit of detail if you want to put it in, a bit of elbow pad, and then there's like a bit of piping around here. As we do these gloves, sort of areas, sort of squared out off area here, actually I think there might be one on the other side there too, okay, just sort of join that up like so. Okay, uh, right, let's just put a little bit of ground in, sort of ground our character, like that. Okay, cool, let's do some coloring. Let's get ourselves the uh, red first of all, let's just get ourselves a light red and then we'll just fill in all those kind of ready areas on our character. So maybe I'll just leave a little, a little hint of light sort of here as well, so it gives an idea that it's like metallic maybe comes around here. Okay, yep, that's pretty effective. The, uh, let's pop in this arm area here, bit of detail sort of up here and here, around there. Uh, and then the jacket obviously that comes up around that area. Fill these bits in, let's get the chunky edge of this one. Uh, inner part here. That comes around the inner there. These areas here, these sort of bands, fill those in. Uh, this belt, the major parts of it are well, a little bit there, this then comes around underneath, okay, it's looking good, uh, these lower parts of the legs, I've got the red in them as well, uh, and then these parts of the boots. Then, now just get a darker uh, red Let's just make it slightly more effective just add that nice bit of sort of shading on here now so a bit of a darker red will just help pop that sort of shadowy kind of area that we've got this will help it in the darker areas be more effective so it'll give us a little bit more kind of range uh, these bits are quite dark Red is coming up, it sort of builds into all of this. You can just leave a little bit on the edge there, it's quite effective. Uh, maybe on the top of the area along here, and maybe a portion of this band. That's good. Uh, let's get myself a bit of a sort of yellowy colour. We're just going to sort of fill in these sort of brighter areas on that face plate, some little bits in here, just around here. Just fill those in like that. And I think I'll just get that, get that lighter red again and we'll just sort of just put a few little bits. So it just makes it look a bit more like orange, orangey and fiery on that helmet area, yeah, that's good, that's working. 
just a few little dashes and things it makes it look quite effective now around there right let's get myself a, a dark gray now what i'll do is just fill in these uh these darker areas of the suit so what's good about a darker gray is that it still shows a little bit of the black uh, detail that we put in so you're not completely going over all of those nice lines that we put in it just helps maintain that kind of nice level of detail that we want to keep we go over it a couple of times certain areas just add a little bit of depth let's change that for the chunkier end of the pro marker yeah that's cool Uh, let's do the leg areas. So this bit of armor here, and then these these upper parts of the legs can be really quite grey. Nice dark grey coming through there. Uh, and then this glove area, just fill that in. This kind of thumb area here. Just leave a bit at the top just to show the light bouncing off there. I think that was really effective on those areas just around there. Just, yeah, adds a nice element to the light just around there. And then the boots. Uh, so the tops, they're quite shiny. So just going to leave a little bit of light. And then maybe just a bit, just try and leave a little bit around those loops, the sort of holes there for the laces. Uh, and again, there's sort of like light bouncing off sort of the toe area. Just leave a little bit where plus. That's cool. All right. It's got a, like a, a brown color just for like the sole areas of the, the boot there. And I think there might be a little bit more just around this area here. Maybe just these parts of the glove. I think that's all we need for that really very small amount and then uh, grab yourself I would say just a little bit, little bit of a lighter grey now not very dark grey I'm just going to grab a lighter grey and then with that lighter grey we can just fill in some of those areas just that we've just left a little bit this piping here is like a lighter grey. Yeah, it just starts to fill that in. Yeah, it looks quite effective now. Okay, that's good. Uh, and then just a little bit of skin colour, so a little bit of skin tone just on the neck area really. So I'm just gonna just fill that in very light. And then maybe just a slightly, slightly darker skin colour there where just add a little bit more in. Just add a little bit of detail. It doesn't really come up very much, but there we go. Cool. Now what I might do is just get that nice yellow colour. Um, and I'll actually just fill in this area down here. These bits can be that nice grey. Actually that bit. That's about it. Uh, and then we'll just maybe just do the bottom area here. She's so just sort of yellowy colour. So it just help make the picture pop. And then let's get a nice deeper red again and we can put it name in. So that is uh, the machinist from Fortnite on Art Draw. Alright, thanks for watching and we'll do some more videos. See you again.